Okay guys, so I'm gonna be teaching you this tutorial how to make um, uh, a mid-high speakers I mean, yeah, a pair of very good sounding speakers from just two devices, I mean two speakers here So as you can see here, we have our tester here So you make it sure it's in ohms, then just measure this one So I found some old speakers to see So it has a reading of about 4 ohms If I'm not mistaken This is still good well, the other speaker, you just need to clip it out here. Let's put it here. Okay. Just don't worry about the polarity because we're only checking the resistance over here. Okay. So, we got a reading of 3.9 ohms. So, I'll show you what we can do here so we could make them really sound good, okay? Okay, guys. So, I've tried to install this, this speaker on my folded horn again. And we will test out if what could be a good response with this box. Would it be a bass or a mid? So we're gonna be making this a mini line array where the speaker is in here. It will be like a line array later on. You will see it like that. But this one is there. So let me assemble this for you guys. You will see if this is a good line array or maybe it's just a hope. Okay guys. Okay guys. So to check the impedance of this subwoofer, so we mounted the four inch. We can see if this would be subwoofer or mid height, so based on our readings. Just need to check the impedance of this. Um, this speakers. No need to put what type of. You need to just need to put there. Then there. And you could see the reading, it's 4 ohms. So that's where the speaker is 4 ohms. So let me try some testing. Okay, guys, so to set up your line array speakers, you could see there. This is your line array. So that's the DIY line array speakers. So as you could see here, these are amplifier. So what you're gonna be doing is so at the back part. So channel one would be your mid range, and then the other one should be your for high. But for us to check out which one is the high and which one is the mid range, so here is our crossover. So at the back, as you can see, the white one is the left channel, which goes to our mid for this uh, for this crossover. This one is for the mid, and the red is for the high. And then in the front, we could see these knobs. As you can see, this one input, low or mid, low output. For this, because we are gonna be using the configuration. We're pressing the times 10 on your crossover. Then make sure that the light is turned on like that. And then you set your frequency here at around 240 or the safest for the mid high. And then you just put it here and then we are gonna be um, we are gonna be testing out our music. So make sure that you are setting this to your normal sound. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be showing you the demonstration. This one is our high, so listen carefully. This one is our mid. Then we, we add that high, this one. If you want to add more clarity on your music, just need to increase this one. Thank you. 